कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे सोरे की गांड फट गई गाइस टुडे वी गॉट अ वीडियो दैट आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू गाइस वी गोना टॉक अबाउट GTA 6 बिकॉज़ रॉकस्टार हैज ऑफिशियली कंफर्म सम न्यूज़ अबाउट GTA 6 फाइनली वी आर वी आर आल्सो गोना टॉक अबाउट GTA 6 ट्रेलर टू व्हेन इज इट कमिंग आउट द रिलीज डेट GTA 6 ऑनलाइन द लुसिया बर्ना इज जेसन गोना बी नर्फ्ड और आर दे गोना मेक जेसन इनटू अ सिम्प इज ही एक्चुअली गोना बी अ गुड कैरेक्टर नॉट आई गॉट अ वीडियो दैट आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू आई गॉट अ वीडियो दैट आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू होप GTA 6 डजंट गेट डिलेड टू 20 26 dislike the video if you're perfectly fine with a 2026 delay All right, let's uh let's get into it. Roll it. The parent company of Rockstar Games, Take Two Interactive, announced in a press release that GTA 6 was going to be coming out in fall 2025. In the oh. management comments released on that report, we earlier talked about how it said this: "Our outlook reflects a narrowing of Rockstar Games' previously established window of calendar yeah. 2025 to fall of calendar 2025 for Grand Theft Auto 6." WRL, WRL. You guys got to also understand we're probably going to see like a lot of other games getting delayed. Yeah, we're we're going to see a whole lot of studios delay their game because this sucker is going to drop Crazy hot, man. We are highly confident that Rockstar Games will deliver an unparalleled entertainment experience and our expectations for the commercial impact of the title continue to increase. Looking yeah. ahead, we believe that our company is poised to achieve new levels of success and we expect to deliver sequential growth in net bookings for fiscal 2025, yeah. 2026 yeah, yeah. and 2027. As we deliver our pipeline, we are confident that we will drive our scale, enhance our margins and deliver industry-leading returns for our shareholders. So that was the yeah. management comments that was released before the actual earnings call took place. And now what we're going to be talking about in this video today is all All the comments that were made on that call, because to no one's surprise, okay. after announcing that GTA 6 would be arriving in fall 2025, which again allows us to kind of narrow that down between like the end of September and the end of December 2025, there was yeah. Uh, officially, it says that officially fall is like October, November, uh, October, no September, October, and November, not December. But if these seconds want, they can certainly release it in December. Realistically, though, it can drop in September, October, and. No way. <laughs> uh, I hope it comes out in September, man. September would be lit though. You you feel what I'm saying and that wouldn't feel too long. But if it comes out in November, May, May. There's obviously let's lots of it. questions that were asked on the call and even comments that were made from executives like Strauss Zelnick. So yeah. let's dive into it. So first we heard Like the video if you want this game coming out in September. From Strauss Zelnick, who at one point during the analyst call after being asked about the commercial prospects for Grand Theft Auto 6 ahead of its release next year, said this. We feel as though the market anticipation is at a fever pitch and of course expectations are very high everywhere in this boardroom and all around the world. For the perfection of what Rockstar typically delivers and he's yeah. used that word in the past perfection when it comes to Rockstar I hope man they don't mean perfection in terms of the shark cards okay cuz if y'all think it's just going to perfect the shark cards then I don't want it I want it but I don't want it I don't I want it I don't want it like now I I hope that Lucia Bruna uh, stays intact they don't nerf it I don't think they're going to make uh, at this point in time I don't think they're going to nerf the Lucia Bruna but I'm worried about Jason though yeah I I I hope that Jason doesn't turn out to be a simp man cuz uh the way it's going I don't know man we haven't even seen anything about Jason and officially guys this is going to sound like a shocker if you're standing up sit down man kiss your loved ones goodbye man put put your seat belts on cuz uh, the ride is going to be bumpy okay the road ahead is quite bumpy needless to say officially They haven't even introduced the character by saying his name. Oh shit. Oh, We shit. think he's going to be called Jason, right? Uh but but like they haven't even introduced him yet. Are creating Grand Theft Auto 6. That they have to create a title that is absolutely perfect and that might be one of the reasons why it's coming out in fall 2025 and not earlier on in the year. That's actually something we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. However, okay, we also two, heard from Take-Two Interactive CFO Lainey Goldstein, who added in her own comments to analysts saying that she has confidence in the GTA 6 title and its potential commercial impact continue to grow. Although she did not offer any specific guidance on the potential sales of GTA 6. Now, Strasselnik was also asked about Take-Two Interactive's confidence in the fall 2025 window, and he said, "We feel really great about that release date and title." And I've seen this word thrown out a lot whether it be online or in articles and that is delayed. The game has not been officially yeah. delayed. Up until today the only timeline Rockstar had given us was calendar 2025. It could have come out any but, but before that they did say fiscal 2025 which means early 2025, right? Like they did delay. Uh, they did. They did. They did, but it's not like a huge delay for sure. Day of those 365 <laughs> days and now they've just narrowed it down to fall 2025, which of course is a little bit disappointing. It means we're going to have to wait a little bit longer and it isn't going to be coming out 
in the first part of the year, but yeah. the game has not been delayed, at least not externally. Internally, though, I would say there is a delay because remember, their projections for fiscal year 2025 yeah, went yeah. from 8 billion to around 5.5 billion. True. So it's yeah. clear. I, I remember, yeah, they, they were like looking to make $8 billion in the fiscal year 2025, but later on they kind of changed it. Investors got sus. This is why in their last investor call, like we saw their stock go down and uh, I was live streaming their entire uh, investor call, right? And a lot of you guys were like, yeah, bro, that's kind of suspect. It's kind of suspect is the game is getting delayed, but very few people were also like nuts because old bro like the game is coming out early 2025 right? it's coming out early 2025 uh i, I wonder like how what those people are feeling right now because I, I i generally feel like that the entire community right actually were certain certain that the game was going to come out by the end of 2025 i'm not seeing people being upset but i wonder like what people are are feeling right now the the ones uh, that actually assumed that this game was going to come out early 2025 disappointed or hey you kind of felt like that uh, you know they're gonna delay it so hey no worries or you're like hey this is like once in a lifetime kind of game hopefully it's not gonna be once in a lifetime game hopefully we get like gta 7 gta 8 as well uh be before we leave the planet but like but you know what I mean, right? Uh, uh, but GTA 6 is getting that stamp of once in a lifetime type of game. So it needs to be good. So people are perfectly fine with if they have to delay a couple of months. Oh yeah, hell yeah, even I, I, I'm fine with it. Knowing the history of AAA games recently, every game comes out broken and it's like, oh man, come on, bro. Not GTA, absolutely. We don't want GTA being woke. We don't want GTA being bad, unfinished at launch, microtransactions galore. We want a good story, good game, and yeah, good online as well, right? We want highs. We want like a badass city. We want a badass character. Lucia Bruna seems to be pretty good right now. But but Jason, I, I don't know, man. Like I'm kind of worried that they're gonna turn him into a simp. Hopefully not. Hopefully not him though that early 2025 was initially a possibility, or at least initially their projections, but that has since been moved to fall 2025. Yay. And because of that, they are expecting a decrease in net earnings. Again, going from around eight to $7 billion to around five and a half billion dollars. Still a ton of money, but you're missing out on the five to six months of income that GTA 6 would generate if it was released in, let's say, April or May. And, and let's be real, now that they have officially confirmed fall of 2025, if they, if they delay it to 2026, so, that would be painful that would be painful that would be painful but i guess if they were to delay it to 2026 they're probably gonna want to announce that by summer of next year right so by the time we are around summer of 2025 next year right a lot of people would be like okay so we just gotta wait like three four months before we got the game right and if they were to delay it then it's gonna be like hey instead of waiting three four months we now have to wait like 10 months maybe a year so at that point I feel like that it's also not gonna be super painful or it might actually be i, I guess uh, we're gonna find out then but trailer two versus september or october so i know that can be a little bit confusing but there's a huge difference between something being externally delayed and internally delayed the game was definitely not externally delayed but more yeah, than likely yeah. was internally delayed at yeah, either yeah, rockstar yeah, yeah, or yeah, take two yeah. interactive now for the big question that everyone was asking when would we hear and see more about the game from rockstar and straw Zelnick even answered this saying that they're leaving it up to rockstar and it'll be and quote, the Brad. fullness of time. That is literally what he said, fullness of time. And I was a little bit confused by that. And according to the Cambridge Dictionary, the statement fullness of time is an idiom. If you say something will happen in the fullness of time, you mean that it will happen if you wait long enough everything will become Bruh. clear in the fullness of Bumble time. Club. Essentially, Bucky this boy. is a very Bumble fancy Club. way of saying, just be patient, and it sounds like something <laughs> will be coming soon. Patience, you're telling us to be patient. We waited 10 plus years for this game, damn it. We need it, I know, we need it, I know. Now, honestly, uh, we were uh, actually talking about this. I'm not sure for how long you guys have been around, but we have been having this con uh, conversation specifically that if the game is really supposed to come out early 2025 we need to get the trailer by their investor call number two which just happened and we didn't right we needed to get it now or like let's just say around summer game fest right which is gonna happen in june a month from now i'm surely gonna stream so hit the bell we needed to get that seriously but we didn't and now they have confirmed it's coming up fall 2025 so yeah it's not coming but apparently this happened which i want to get into but real quick as we get down to the climax guys i have a second channel yay 
on this channel we talk about the benefits of not just in the pom pom here uh definitely check it out we also have scary reacts on this channel we upload ufo content conspiracy content every single day the links would be in the pinned comment below where you can catch up on my insta twitter twitch all the youtube channels and even the secret link yeah the secret oh, link shit. all right let's get back all right let's get back to the content now boo boo with GTA 6 now coming out in fall 2025, this means that Rockstar Games has to rush even less to get the marketing phase of this game out the door with either yeah. a second trailer or new screenshots or just simply additional details on the title itself. So there's a very good chance. I realistically believe that now we're going to get the second trailer by the end of this year or it can actually be early 2025. <laughs> yeah. And that we won't hear from them regarding GTA 6, at least in some reasonable capacity about the title for quite some time. Although mm -hmm. it would be nice if Rockstar Games gave us a little bit of an update sometime yeah, soon. Bit, like Strauss Zelnick said, we'll just have to wait and see in the fullness of time. Now with all this- I, I can see like screenshots coming up by like June, July, around the Summer Game Fest ride. Trailer 2 by the end of this year. But you guys gotta also understand GTA Online reveal too. They need to reveal the GTA 6 Online as well. And, and usually they do like a small gameplay demo, not necessarily like a full-blown gameplay walkthrough kind of, but they like to do like a, a small a small demo walkthrough through it, indeed they have done it in the past i remember the gta 5 online uh demo video it was like approximately five minutes long if i'm not mistaken they have done stuff like that i think they want to do it this time in fact do it a lot more this time market it even more when you know when the iron is hot you hit it more or the metal is hot you hit it iron there's a saying which i'm butchering yeah. Right now. Uh, yeah yeah well, whatever right uh yeah they need to they need to do a lot more and recently this also what happened we had the entire live stream of GTA 6 check out this video on the screen on the left we have a lot more gameplay leaks going around about GTA 6 so check out both of these videos and I will see you right there